Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we will be going over OSCP versus CPTS. What does that mean? Which one do you need? Which one should you get first? Um, that being said, let's jump right into this video. Now, for this video, this is a gray area. Um, some people might agree, some people won't agree. This one's a, a bit, I don't want to say tricky, but again, the gray area, right? CPTS Hack the, from Hack the Box has evolved. Um, I've taken both. I took the OSCP in, I got that mid-June of this year, 2024. CPTS was November 20th, uh, 2024. Now, that being said, once I took the CPTS and people that I have spoken with, not only that I work with, but also that do offensive security, pen testing, web app testing, and red teaming, all have said, and there's a variation of both, meaning actual engineers, principals, and, all, and also managers that manage red teams, they have all stated that if you have the CP, if someone has a CPTS, over the OSCP, hands down, they're taking that person with the CPTS. That being said, my experience with the exams, I was more happy, more thrilled, more challenged, and it was a better overall real experience doing the CPTS, in my, in my opinion. Um, OFSEC had issues with the training, um, had issues with their environments, labs, um, the training labs to get the extra points, the whole nine shebang. And then also, um, I wasn't affected by this or I'm not affected by this. You have that off, you know, offset got acquired. Um, then they switched over their model to the OSCP plus the way I read it is you could only get those, um, CPEs through offsets courses. Um, I don't know if that's changed or if I read it wrong, but from what I read through that portion of the site when that first came out, um, again, I don't know if it's updated or not. It might might be different. Maybe I did read it wrong, uh, but that's, that's not good. Um, that's pretty much digging your own grave. Uh, you know, any other organization that does CPEs, whether it's an outside of cyber as well, IFMA for facilities, as is, et cetera, ISC West, um, or SIA, you could do different organizations, uh, courses, training, seminars, conferences, and get those CPEs um, to maintain your certs. Now, Offsec pretty much was raising their prices, all that stuff. I don't want to go into too much of a tangent on that, but you know they wanted to tack into the government section. Um, now, pretty much, I see Offsec. If they haven't already done the put the nail in their coffin, um, they're going to be going to the SANS route. So depending on how that new organization that acquired them uh, is taking this, it uh, looks like they're going to be pretty money hungry. And I see them trying to make up for whatever losses they have with not just Hack the Box, but also TCM and some of the other um, organizations. Uh, Pawn Labs is, is new and is also really great. Um, Cloud Breach IO. Uh, now you got Vuln Labs. Uh, I saw Tyler's videos on that. And I'm going to be getting that pretty soon, jumping on that one. Um, I don't know if they have any certs, but as far as their training material, their labs are look really great. Um, so for that matter, for that being said, um, I would I would recommend CPTS and Hack the Box over OFSEC. Now, people say that OFSEC OSCP is still the standard, which is true. Um, this is my opinion. By next summer, I believe CPTS will be the standard or at least neck and neck with OSCP. Um, that's my opinion. Um, I might be wrong. That's just my, my prediction. Now, that being said, for me, I still, I still will go for both. Um, I would technically go for the, the OSCP if you can't afford it and you have the money to do it right now just because their training is horrible. I haven't seen it since they switched to the new model where um, there's no more uh, bonus points. Uh, it's all straight Active Directory where I believe they give you the credentials and so forth. So I don't know how the training is now. I don't know if it's been updated and or changed. 
Um, but if it's still the same way that it was when I took it, uh, yeah, I would definitely go this the hack the box route. Their training is really great. Everything is in there. Um, every, I mean, all the stuff that you need is in there, literally. The only downfall, it's not really a downfall for me, even though I thought it would be, is that there's no videos. Um, but other than that, I would say, um, I would say you still need the OSCP, but if you're, if you have experience already, like a good, decent amount of experience, meaning you could, you could do this stuff pretty much blindfolded and you have a good understanding. You can explain yourself from not only a, a tech level, but also an executive level. Then I would go for the CPTS and not, I would put the OSCP on the back burner and work towards more of their higher certs, meaning the OSWE, OSEP, et cetera, from OFSEC. Um, that would be my plan route if you already have that experience and or you are older. Um, now, if you're older with no experience, then that's, that's a whole different conversation. That's not what I'm talking about. But um, if I had to choose one right now, um, for me, um, given my experience, I would have I would have went with CPS a CPTS first, not just because of of you know that I see it in the future taking over where uh, offsec OSCP is as far as standardization, but the training is all there. You don't have to go out and pay extra for the training. Um, I think it's what sixteen seventeen hundred bucks now. So that that that's pretty much you know insane mm -hmm. for you to have to have to buy that training and you still need to go outside and pay more. Uh, whereas hack the box is what half that price. Uh, if you get the, the CPTS, uh, probably less than half that price. I think it's 490 with the voucher for the, the silver plan, uh, which is what I have. still. so that being said that I would go that route first, just because you're going to get your bang for your buck. And the actual exam is more realistic, more uh, real life scenario, in my opinion. Um, and then I would go to the OSCP, especially if you're in that money pinch, uh, because again, that's going to be real, real, um, a constraint as far as price wise and money wise for some people, especially coming out of college, um, that are new. Uh, if you could do the CPTS and, and you're successful at that, and also you got all the training under your belt and you understand it to a T, you'll have no problem with the OSCP. Um, that being said, that is my opinion on on the OSCP versus CPTS. Um, I would rate the CPTS way higher. And again, in my opinion, I think it's going to be the new standard by summer, end of summer next year. And also, again, if, if you ask people that are actually doing this in the job, uh, I'm not saying 100% are going to say it, but I would be shocked if you find that most people would say OSCP is still better than CPTS or, or any other one as far as a standard um, exam to get in. I guarantee you most of them will say CPTS. They would take hands down the person with the CPTS over with the person that has the OSCP. Um, and then also too, when you read the job descriptions, yeah, you're not seeing it, but you know, it's weird that most of these people, especially in cyber are not writing their own job requisitions. They're leaving that up to the HR team and or recruiter or HR business partner. Um, because I've still seen a lot of, even in the tech industry, still seen a lot of CEH, uh, which makes no sense. I know that's required in the gov, which is a whole different other can of worms. I'm not even going to get into that because I never did IT or cyber in government. Um, that it's weird. Uh, th that's also kind of alarming for me because th there's a lot more certs out there that are needed, especially in offensive security. Uh, I still see C CRTO, OSWE, OSEP, OS, uh, e OSEP, um, OSCP. Um, but you know, some of the other stuff that that I think is relevant. That's not on there. So, um, that's also something to watch out for. But now if you, um, that might not make it through HR, but reach out and network with these different managers, especially at conferences, local conferences, B sides, et cetera. Um, some of those DEF CON meetups, because they're going to know what those are, uh, as far as some of those other certs. And most of the time they're going to be looking for people that have those. And that's pretty much your, foot right in the door on top interview and pretty much, you know, you already have that relationship built. So, I mean, it's your, your job to lose that, that offer. So that being said, that's my video for OSCP versus CPTS. 
CPTS all the way, hands down. Um, and again, in my opinion, that's going to be the new standard next year. That might be a far stretch, but that's what um, I'm seeing, um, especially with the bang for the buck and the high end training that you get. Again, no videos, but everything you need there is for the in the exam, and it's really, really good and thorough, in my opinion. So that's the video for today. Hope you like it, and um, see you guys on the next one.